Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show you how to create a basic flow in Infor RPA Studio using some of the email Outlook automation activities to read mail and store attachments. First, we will present the use case overview for which we will build the flow. Then, we will present how to create the RPA flow and execute it. At the end, we will recap the list of activities used in today's flow. For today's use case, we want to build a flow that one by one reads emails from an Outlook account, and for each email, it will write its mail body into a text file and download the email attachments to a specified folder. To support this use case, we will create a file where the downloaded attachments and text file will be stored. First, navigate to your file explorer on your desktop. Go to this PC and click into the C drive. Create a new folder and name it RPA. In the new folder, right click, select new, and then select text document. Name the text document RPA. Next, in order to build the RPA flow, we will navigate to RPA Studio and create a new project. To start building the workflow, navigate to the left to the activities panel in RPA Studio. Scroll down until you see the email activity. Drag and drop the Get Outlook Emails activity into the sequence box. Now let's configure the properties for the Get Outlook Emails activity. For the account property, we will create an argument to specify the mail account we want to use. Navigate to the Arguments tab and create a new argument with name, mail account. Specify the type as string. For default value, enter the mail address for the account you would like to use. For the mail folder property, we'll create an argument to specify the mail folder that contains the emails we want to be read, and create another new argument with the name mail folder. Specify this type of string. For default value, enter the mail folder name you would like to use. For this example, I will be using a folder I've created in Outlook named test. Please note to use quotations as the argument data type is a string. Navigate to the properties panel an input mail account argument we created into the account property and input the mail folder argument we just created into the mail folder property. Next, click the ellipsis next to the filter prop to open the expression editor. Enter the following expression shown. This expression will filter the emails by subject. Please note that the email subject must match the subject in the expression in order for the workflow to execute successfully. In this case, the workflow will read emails with the subject test. Click the checkbox next to the mark is read property and the only unread emails property. This ensures that only unread emails are recognized by RPA and are marked as read after the text and attachments have been extracted. The top number of email property specifies the number of emails that should be read in one go. For the output property emails, we will need to create a variable. Navigate to the variables tab. For variable name, type email list. Expand variable type and select browse for types. In the type name field, put list. Select list T. Select the dropdown and select browse for types. In the new pop-up, put mail in the type name field. Select mail. Select OK. Select OK again. Navigate back to the properties panel and output emails. Put in email list variable that we just created. Add a new activity that will allow the emails to be read one by one. Navigate to the activities panel and find the activity for each. Drag and drop the for each activity into the sequence. Select type argument and select browse for type. In the type name field, put mail. Select mail. For the values property, input the email list variable we created. In the design canvas, you will see the following text. For each item in email list, where item signifies the single object in list of emails. Now we will navigate to the activities panel and we'll drag and drop the sequence activity into the body of the for each activity. Go back to the activities panel, find the assign activity, and drag it into the sequence activity. This will allow us to assign the mail body to the variable type string. Navigate to the variables tab. Create a new variable with the name body and the variable type string. Input this variable into the to property. 
Select value and input the following expression, item.body.toString, into the expression editor. Navigate back to the activities panel and drag via pinned line activity into the subsequence. For the line property, input the variable storing the body of the mail, which in this case is body. For the source file path, we will create an argument that will specify the file path of the text document. Navigate to the Arguments tab and create a new argument with the name file path and argument type string. For the default value, enter the complete file path of the text document that we created in the start of the tutorial. Open the Properties panel and input the file path argument that we just created into the source file path property. Now we will add our final activity. Navigate to the Activities panel and drag and drop the Download Outlook Attachments activity into the subsequence. For the Email property, input Item. For the Path property, we will create an argument. This argument will be the path of the directory where the attachment should be stored. Navigate to the Arguments tab and create a new argument with the name Attachment Path with a variable type of String and a default value as the path for the folder we created at the beginning of the tutorial. Navigate back to the Properties panel and input the argument we just created into the Path property. For the File Path property, we will create a variable. Navigate to the Variables tab and create a new variable with the name Attachment File Path of type List String. Navigate back to the Properties panel and input the variable we just created into the file path property. Now our workflow is complete and we can run the flow to see if all is working as expected. Please note you must have unread emails in the mail folder specified. In the output panel of the RPA Studio, you can check the logs of the activities to see if the activities were executed without throwing any errors. The activity code 200 means that it was executed successfully. Now that the workflow has executed successfully, let's check if the mail body was written into the text file and that the attachments were downloaded. Here you can see that the body of the email has been successfully extracted into the text file. During today's tutorial, we created a workflow in Infor RPA Studio using multiple Outlook activities such as Get Outlook Email and Download Outlook Attachments, as well as various other activities such as For Each, append line, and assign. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you wish to see more, visit our YouTube channel where you can find more content. Thank you.